the way that Bitcoin prevents double spending, it prevents double spending in the sense that it, well, in a proof of work blockchain, it makes it impractical for the blockchain to go backwards and then forwards and then get rid of the transaction you don't like and put a new one that takes the money back to you. Whereas the actual mechanism by which double spending doesn't happen in Bitcoin is that the network just keeps track of every single transaction. And when you spend the money, it marks it as spent and it keeps track of a database of all the spent transactions. So if you tried to make a new block on top of the current blockchain, it tries to spend some money that's already been spent, it'll know, okay, and I, I can't spend it. That's a fundamental problem in Zcash where we don't want you to be able to know which coins you're spending. So to solve that problem, we need to make it so that you reveal some signature of spending some coins that isn't revealing the actual coins you're spending, but that can be kept in a database and kept track just like a fingerprint or something to make sure that you're not going to spend it again and mark it down as any person that tries to spend some money and they reveal this fingerprint again, that means they're trying to spend the same money twice.